You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettes out there in Gwinnett land, all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, nice and sunshiny, but it's 35 degrees, going up to a high of 50. So the sun is shining, it's nice and bright, but it is a little chilly outside, so don't get it twisted. Hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your day. Today is uh, Wednesday, December the 20th. Yes, five days away, baby, five days away. I know, are you finished shopping yet? Like, I think I'm officially done. I think. I think I might have to get, <laughs> this is so terrible, right? I think I got to get one more thing. Just one. And that, and that's only because I got, I got a little wrinkle in my plan. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, um, my, 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 my friend ordered her husband a computer, right? And she said, I ordered the computer. I'm going to send it to your house to surprise him. I said, okay, cool. So, I'm thinking... A box comes, like she tells me. I'm thinking, like, oh boy, that, and I said that was really quick because she told me probably like last Wednesday. The box came like I think Friday of last week, and I was like, geez, that was really quick, right? So, but you know, Amazon, Amazon can get your stuff there the next day, so I didn't think anything about it. So I just took the, I didn't even look at the box. I knew it was computer. I just took the box and slid it to the side, right? So I slide the box to the side. <laughs> so she texted me yesterday. She said, hey, she says, um. The box should be coming, I think she said tomorrow or the next day. I'm like, the box is already here. So she sent me the tracking information and it was like, it's not here. I'm like, who the heck box do I have? So I go downstairs to see exactly who box I had. And sure enough, I got somebody else's box that lives all the way in Grayson. So that person is waiting on a computer and it's at my house. So I'm going to go take them people their computer today. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go find them. And take them their computer. Now the problem is, I don't know, you know, what time they get off work. I don't even know who they are. It's nuts, y'all. I was like, that is crazy. Like, so, cause I'm telling her, you know, your computer is here already. She's like, no. She sent the tracking information, and sure enough, the computer was not there. Is at is somebody else's computer, and I'm sure by now they are on pins and needles, wondering where the heck is my computer. I know they are. I know they're like, what happened to my computer? And it's sitting at my house, sitting at my house against a back wall. It's been there for like almost a week. Cause I'm almost positive. It came like last somewhere between Wednesday and Friday. She told me. And then like a few days later it was here and it's been, been in my house and it's, and it's just been sitting there. I didn't even look at it. Cause I just assumed, I know I didn't order a computer this year and I didn't ask for a computer. Cause normally I was like, my husband's like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like a computer. He's like, oh, so he bought me a computer last year. I did. I buy that computer. He might have bought it. I can't remember. But that computer is still very good. <clears throat> it's my it's my travel computer, so it's not a lot of stuff on the computer. The problem with that is it's probably going to be outdated next year. But I didn't ask for a computer this year, so I didn't even think anything about it. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. You know, um, there you go. Yeah, somebody's missing the computer. So I'm going to go and take them. I'm going to go find the people. But I think I'm going to wait till my husband gets home or... Cause I don't want to go by myself. I don't want people. To, I don't want to be walking up on people's porches and things like that. Like all of that stuff is very scary. Like I don't know. Should I just go take it back and return it to Amazon? I don't know what to do. Honestly, I just don't because I feel like maybe I should do that. Take it to Kohl's, but I don't have a return slip because it's not my computer. So I don't be want because you know you can't be walking up on people's porch these days. They will shoot you for no reason. Like you walked up on my porch and I I felt threatened. You know, shit like stuff like that. I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it PG, but I'm just saying. It's like stuff like that, and you really want to be careful. So, I don't know. I have to figure that part out. But, um, yeah, that was great. Because my package, I had a package that came the other day, and it went next door. <clears throat> and so, I told y'all about my neighbors. Like, she's not very friendly. So, I was like, let me let me go get my box. Well, let me ring her bell so she'll know that while I'm on her porch because she got a ring camera. So she saw me walk up on the porch and she probably was thinking, what she want? So when she came to the door, she's just not, she, her demeanor is just not nice. She was like, uh, she looked at me like I was like, I was like, yeah, hey, I just want to let you know. I'm just getting my box off your porch. They delivered it to the wrong house. I said, I ain't want you to be like, what's she doing on my porch? She's like, yeah. Cause I would have been like, I was like, oh my God, she's just so not friendly y'all. And you can't even like, I was like, Hey, how you doing? She's like, Merry Christmas. I was like, thanks. Merry Christmas to you too, sister. She's just not a friendly person. 
not a friend. But I got my box, but I rang the bell so she would know why I was on the porch. So you just got to be careful. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to handle this. I got to go take it to the people. I need. Maybe I should just call Amazon and ask them, hey, somebody's box got delivered to my house. What should I do with it? You know, maybe I should do that. Maybe when I see the Amazon man, give it to him, let him deliver. I don't know, but that may not even be on his route. So I have to figure it out. I'll figure it out today, though. All right, anyway, let's get this show rolling. Today is Wednesday. It's hump day, baby. You have made it to the middle. Now, for some of you, the weekend starts today. I get it. We're like, yes, some of you, the weekend starts tomorrow. Some some still got to wait till Friday. But for, for whatever the case, it, it is Wednesday. You only got a few days either way. Um, it is hump day. It's December the 20th. We're five days away from Christmas. It's also National Sangria Day. Now, listen, I know y'all want to go out and get lit today. Do not go out there and overdrink on sangria because it's National Sangria Day. Don't do that. Do not. I get it. It's probably $2 at the Mexican restaurant today because it's National Sangria. I like sangria. Sangria tastes good. I like it when it's kind of sweet, though. Like, I'm not a, I'm not like a dry wine kind of person. Like, I'm not that person. I like sweet wines. I had a sangria that was so good till it was almost like drinking, like, you could taste the alcohol, but it wasn't a lot. So I was just drinking, 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 and guess what happened? I ain't even got to tell you. I ain't even got to tell you. Uh, cathode ray tube day, cathode ray tube day. <clears throat> dot your eyes day. Who don't dot their eyes? Games day, yes. Listen, I'm looking forward to playing spades on Christmas. Yep, my brother already said get the cars ready. Told me tell Georgette, tell Georgette to get ready. I was, she's like, yeah, I'm ready. So, yeah, so we played spades last year. I think he and I were partners. And he was so loud and obnoxious. Like, he's that person that is really loud and obnoxious. He was. Uh, it's go caroling day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mud day. Mud. I think mud was a person. That was a person? Oh, he was. So, mud um, was convicted of aiding in President Abraham Lincoln's assassination. So, that's who mud was. National Greg Day, so shout out to all the fellas with the name Greg. National Stephen Day, shout out to all the fellas named Stephen. Okay, I'm about to mess this name up. Saka, Saka Gawahi Day. That looks like a Native American history something. Saka Gawi Day. Saka Gawi Day. I'm sure I'm messing it up, and if I am, I apologize. Ashley Windrock's Day, birthday, happy birthday, Ashley. Um, Christmas Abba's birthday, her name is Christmas, y'all. Christmas Abbott's birthday. Happy birthday, Christmas. Um, Diarion, De'Aaron. De'Aaron Fox's birthday. Happy birthday, De'Aaron. I think I'm saying that right. This way it's spelled like, I, yeah, okay. I'm, not, I'm just going to leave it alone. JoJo's birthday. Happy birthday, JoJo. Jonah Hill's birthday. Happy birthday, Jonah. Kaylin Baptiste Day. Happy birthday, Kaylin. Kylan. Um, Lucia Zamb- Zambetti's birthday. Happy birthday, Lucia. Melanie. Sc- wow. Everybody got a crazy name today. So we got Lucia Zambetti, Zambetti's. We got Melanie Scofano's. And then we got Maya Nicole Johnson's birthday. Happy birthday, Maya. Um, Mystic, Ni- Mystic. His name is Mystic. Incho's. Incho's birthday. Happy birthday. Nail's birthday. Happy birthday, Nail. Um, Peter Chris's birthday. Happy birthday, Peter. Paya, Paya's birthday, happy birthday, Sandra Lee's birthday, happy birthday, Dr. Lee, no, Dr. Lee's the pimple popper, happy birthday, I watched, so my daughter, my granddaughter likes watching pimple popper, she goes, Gia, she call it pimps, she said, Gia, that's a big pimp on their face, so she want to watch, so when she's at, with, spend the night with me, instead of her, like, I'm like, look, we ain't watching, you know, boppy or bippy or whatever on YouTube all night, she's like, let's, let's watch Dr. Pimple Popper, I want to see her pop the pimps, she call it pimps, happy birthday, Dr. Lee. Um, Tamir Ali Khan's birthday. Happy birthday, darling. He's a little boy. Tori Bates' birthday. Happy birthday, Tori. Zach's, it's like Caprinelli's. Okay, so what, Carpa, Carpinello's. I'm just, these, if you can see these names today, y'all, it's like, sir, they got all these strange last names on the same day for me to be messing up. Anyway, those are your national days and birthdays for the day. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer, <clears throat> Michael Thompson for today, Wednesday. December the 20th, we're going to kick it off like we always do, and that is with Aries. Aries, be aware that joint financial ventures could fall apart. Try to keep an open mind. Avoid letting children and friends borrow. All right, listen. Just be aware, Aries, that it could all fall apart. It all falls down. Here's the thing, though. If you did your due diligence before you made the investment 
or became a partner in a joint financial venture, you should have prepared yourself right out the gate for possible failure because ventures tend to fall. I, ask me. I know because I've been in quite a few fallen ventures. And then there are some that become uberly successful and then you got some that's mildly cons- successful. But here's the thing. If you know that you're going into some kind of venture, just understand that there is a risk of failure in that venture. So hopefully you prepared yourself for that so you won't be too devastated if it falls apart. It ain't said it will fall apart. It said it could. So just make sure you're prepared for that. That's all I'm saying. Taurus, <clears throat> don't let someone you work with put words in your mouth. Authority figures may be less than accommodating if you have done something deceitful. How can you expect them to be on your side when you know you did something bad and they know you've done something bad too? If you are single, get out there and you will meet someone new. Listen, you got to go out and mingle if you are single. Get out the house. Get. Oh, let me tell y'all something. So, I used to then watch reality TV. I really didn't. Like I, my mom used to love it, but I didn't. And I was like myself, oh my god, am I getting old for real? So I like, but these are the shows I like. I like Winter House. I like Summer House. I like Southern Charm, and I like um, Love Island. I like Temptation Island. I used to then watch these things, and this is what I do. When I go to lunch at 12 o'clock, I watch reality TV, then I go back to work. So I go to lunch after the show. Well, it's kind of like brunch because I haven't eaten breakfast, so it's like brunch. And then I pick one of my reality shows. I like Selling Sunset. I like that one. Um, what's the one I'm watching right now? Oh, Married at, Married at First Sight. I'm watching that one right now. There's this guy on that one, right? So I was watching that last night, like late though. I was watching late. I think I... I think I watched it. My husband was watching something. He fell asleep, and I was I was still kind of wired up and wasn't ready to turn on YouTube just yet. So I was watching an episode of Married at First Sight, and there was a guy on there. He was so funny, y'all. He he was a he was a handsome guy, but the problem was he didn't have any social skills. Like he met the girl's family, like they married at first sight. All they knew is they was going to marry somebody. They didn't know who they were going to marry. He married at first sight. He met her family. So the whole time he talked to her, he talked to the family about the, the house that he had that was made in the 70s. He, he put a pool in the backyard and a hot tub in the backyard. And he had a, a beach in the backyard. And he had um, something else. But he told that story like 100 times. And then when he wasn't talking about his house and the hot tub and the beach and the pool and all that, he was talking about... His weight loss regime, like he his his uh, exercise, like he lifts weights every day. He's staking eggs every day. He has a protein shake. He got this. He got that. He's looking at his biome. His, this is what he was talking about. He had no social skills. It was ridiculous. Like, but he said he was a nerd. Like he was an '80s. Like everything was like the '80s, fitness and his house. That's all he talked about. So he didn't get out very often. So he went on married at first sight. And got married. And I I definitely don't see him and that girl standing together. Because she is outgoing. Like, she travels. He's like, yeah, I haven't been anywhere. Like, I don't see that happen. Anyway, I said all that to say, Taurus, don't be like him. Get outside and single. Mingle so you can so you don't have to stay single. Gemini. You can make personal changes that will enhance your appearance and bring about greater social activity. You could consider getting into self-improvement endeavors. You will easily charm charm members of the opposite sex. Okay, Gemini, you got it going on today. Make make a few enhancements. You know, you're going to easily charm members of the opposite sex. Is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to see if you still got it? Because sometimes you just need to feel like that, right? You need to feel like, yeah, I still got it. Uh, Anybody, because we're human. I don't care who it is. If that person's like, no, I don't need it. Yeah, you do. You just don't want to say you need it. But you want to know, am I still sexy? Yeah. Let me tell you something. If somebody pays me a compliment, I'll come home and tell my husband, yeah, I had action today. And I, I call it action. Because it's just like, yeah, I still got it. You want to know you still got it. So, Gemini, they going to let you know today that you still got it, baby. You are still rocking. Cancer, now is the time to concentrate on building a strong financial future for your family. Avoid any overindulgence. You can visit clients and make a big impression by giving them some hands-on help. All right, are you trying to make an impression on your people, Cancer? If you, if so, just hands-on, baby. Put your hands on the problem and solve it. That is going to impress the heck out of them. That's going to get you the recognition that you're seeking. In the meantime, avoid overindulgence in anything, whatever it is. I don't know what you could overindulge in. Just don't do it. Leo, keep your feelings to yourself if you want to avoid embarrassment. You are, your outgoing nature might work against you today. Visit friends. You don't get to see that often. All right, listen, you need to lay low today, Leo. That's what they're trying to tell you. 
Normally you're outgoing, don't do it. Normally you're, you're opinionated and 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 and, 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 vo- and, and, and boisterous. Don't say anything. Just sit still and be quiet today. Matter of fact, don't say nothing to nobody. Go visit an old friend you don't see that often. That way you don't get yourself in trouble. All right? Because all your outgoing nature and the way you say and do things going to embarrass you today. So don't do that. Just go say hi to somebody you haven't seen. And be careful when you do that. Don't say those things or do things over there either. Virgo, deception is evident all around you, baby. Keep your Listen, keep your antennas up for the deception because it's all around you. Your mate is going to want and need some attention. I know you're busy, but you got to show that you got to show some attention. You may be up with some changes in your home. Now, listen, you got deception all around you. Your mate is seeking attention. You want to go decorate the house. Listen, this is how you do that, right? Keep your antennas up for the deception. Ask your mate to go shopping with you to do something for the house. It's the holiday season. You got guests coming over. Put up something. Put up new curtains or something. You know, clean up. Buy some air fresheners. I got to go to the store and buy a bunch of air fresheners. Because I, I, I feel like my house has a lot of food smells in it because we cook a lot. So I'm going to go buy a bunch of air fresheners. I had them. I don't know where they are. I probably just need some refills, but I don't know where the air fresheners are. Anyway, in, include your mate in that activity. Now you got some quality time together, some fun time. Now, unless you that person to go to the store and don't know how to come out the store, Virgo, and your partner is the impatient one, don't do that. Find something that you can do together that's fun and exciting. Not that you got to spend a lot of money because my husband and I, we can go to the grocery store. Like, there are times when I literally would go to the grocery store with him, and I feel like that's quality time. Because normally he's go to the grocery store by himself or I run into the store to get something. When we do stuff together, to me, that's quality time. And I and it changes my it changes how I feel about certain things. Like it changes how I'm 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 relaxed. I feel like it's love, you know. But when we when we don't spend time, it's like, hey, hey, we just like two shifts passing the night. So I'm saying all that to say, Virgo, do something simple. You don't gotta spend a lot of money. When we go to dinner on Friday nights, that's our time. Do something simple. We spend about forty dollars and we're done. <laughs> All right? All right, cool. All right, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Michael Thais. And stay tuned.
to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the Daily Horoscopes. Brought to you by Noted Astrology, Mike, a thousand for today, Wednesday, December the 20th. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Don't let your mate annoy you. Patience will be the key. Take some time to change your house around. Valuable information can be yours if you listen to those with experience. All right, you got a lot to unpack there. Don't let your mate annoy you. Be patient. Yeah, be patient. Patient is going to be the key, baby. Be, I get it. Sometimes you just can't. Take some time to change your house around. It's a lot of house moving around today. Valuable information can be yours, but you got to listen. You got to listen to the people with the experience, Libra. You got to close your lips and listen today, right? And be patient with your mate. That's all. Scorpio, don't get involved in secret affairs or underhanded involvements. Legal matters that have been pending may be elevated through compromise, alleviated through compromise. You are in a high cycle where travel, education, and creative endeavors are concerned. All right, look, if it's a secret, you shouldn't be doing it, whatever it is. I don't know what kind of involved, if it's underhanded, if it's secret, you know, they, don't tell nobody, don't say nothing. I'm going to give you this, but don't tell It's a secret. It's going to come out, Scorpio. Don't do it. Do not do it. Sagittarius, try not to hurt your partner's feelings. You might have some problems balancing your books. You will reach the most people if you speak at an organizational function. Yep. If you want to speak, you want to meet, reach some people, speak out. Go and speak out. I'm, I got some things planned that I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more speaking this year, a lot more collaborations, a lot more joint ventures. But if you want to be seen, you got to speak out, right? You got to raise your hand and step out on stage. I don't, I don't like public speaking either because I talk fast. And uh, as a matter of fact, I got to speak at the PodFest conference in January. That's next month. That's in like a month. Oh, I forgot about that. Anyway, you want to get out there, get your name out there. Yeah, go out there and do some public speaking. Now, if you're deathly afraid, they, they got this organization called Toastmasters. They're supposed to help you get better at your craft. Yeah, I need to go because I do speak fast. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, yeah, I do. Capricorn, changes in your domestic situation will, will prove to be favorable in the long run. Get together with friends who like to participate in indoor sports. Look into ways to make your home more comfortable. Okay, it's a lot about the house today, too. You're trying to... Yes, it's that time of the year you want to make the house different. Yes. Changing. Listen, go ahead. Look in the ways to make your house more comfortable. I told y'all I don't have any curtains in my house. It's the weirdest thing. I have blinds. It's not like my house has, the windows have no coverings. I have blinds, but I don't have any curtains. I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I should have curtains. Like, that's the change I want to make. I want new furniture for downstairs. I want curtains. And I want, um, yeah, new furniture. And I want, so listen, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a pack rat. I kind of live with two, and they got stuff all downstairs. I just want to take everything off the counter and trash it. I want to take everything off the floor. It's not a lot, a lot of stuff, but it's more than I would like to see on the floor and on the counter. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Aquarius, you will enjoy interacting with those who come from different backgrounds. You will enjoy socializing and unusual forms of entertainment. Think before you act. Unforeseen circumstances will, will disrupt your routine. I know you hate being interrupted, Aquarius. I know you hate for your the way your routine is set. You want to keep it that way. But today, it's going to happen. It's unforeseen. You can't do anything about it. Suck that junk up and keep it moving. That's all. Work around it. I get it. You had a routine. You want to stick to it. Sometimes stuff happens and you just can't. It happens all the time. You just can't. So don't waste a lot of time fighting about it. I, listen, it interrupted my routine. I got to keep it moving. That's all. All right, last but not least, my fellow fish, Pisces, don't let others saddle you with guilt that isn't warranted. Changes regarding your image will bring you greater confidence. Minor accidents could occur if you don't take precautions. All right, what we doing today? What we changing, fish? We're going to change our hair. We're going to change our nails. We're going to change the way we dress. What we changing? You putting on some eyelashes. What you doing? You cutting your beard off. You cutting your dreads off. What we doing today is going to bring you more confidence. Whatever that is, change your image could change the way you dress. Like I, I, my for me is my clothes. Well, I got cute clothes. I think I need to wear them. Let me say that. That's what I should be saying. I have very nice clothes. I have a closet full of new clothes, but I think I need to wear them. And the reason I don't wear my new clothes is because I really don't go anywhere to wear all of the clothes that I have that are new. So that being said, my image change in 2024 is wearing the clothes in my closet, which means I have to leave and go out and do something. I do do like a couple events a, a month, but this year my goal is to do eight to 10 events a month. I need to show up, baby, and show out. Yes, fish, what about you? What about you? 
Yeah, listen, in the meantime, don't let other people guilt you because it's not warranted. You know, they want you to do something. They trying to put the guilt trick on act. Listen, it's a no for us. We're not letting you guilt us into anything today. So don't even try it, okay? Okay. That's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's get into some news you can use. Yeah. Hey, did you know that you can schedule a 30-minute uh, photo shoot over at the Gwinnett County Historic Courthouse? Yeah, they got some trees set up over there by the fireplace. And you can actually reserve your family a session over there to do a photo shoot. Isn't that nice? That's really, really cool. Like, you you don't have a, like, you want the old-fashioned look. It looks old-fashioned. Um, and you can reserve it. So if you want to reserve a photo session, you still got time. Christmas is not until next Monday. So you still got time to get your photo shoot in for the holidays. Call 770 822 5450. 770 822 5450. 770 822 5450. Get your photo shoot. Get your Christmas. It's got trees. It's got a wreath. It's got a fireplace. Even got like a toy dog sitting right by the, sitting right by the fireplace. <laughs> Speaking of holidays, there's a new uh, holiday mural that has officially been installed downtown Lawrenceville. So if you want to go downtown and take a picture, it's called Festive DTL. Listen, it says Happy Holiday. Let me tell y'all something. When I saw Lawrenceville put the DTL, I said, go ahead on Lawrenceville Festive. festive in the, it says Festive in the DTL. That's downtown Lawrenceville. Go ahead on. They, they kind of bit off the ATL. I like it. I like the logo. I like it all. So it's downtown Lawrenceville. So if you want to take a picture, go on downtown and take a picture by the mural. Is, I wonder if they're going to leave that there all year round. Or are they going to take it up? I don't know. It's pretty cute. But you want to take a picture? I think I'm going to go downtown and take a picture. Downtown in the DTL. Festive in the DTL. Because it's got, it's got Christmas trees on it. Do they have this all year round here? Or do you know? It's painted on a brick wall. That's interesting. I don't know. It's, it looks cute, though. Take your picture downtown. Um, Shout out to Officer Her- uh, Hermel from the Snellville Police Department. He was handing out holiday cheer all around. Yep. Shout out to him taking pictures, handing out toys. Listen, we need that kind of stuff. He was doing something great. Yeah, so shout out to you for doing a great deed. I love it. I don't care who don't like it. I love it. Speaking of police officers in Snellville, congratulations to three newest officers graduating from the Athens GPSTC Police Academy. Yes, congratulations and welcome to Snellville Police Department. Officer Hensley, Officer Chumley, and Officer Green. They are new to the police chief, uh, the Snellville Police Department. So you're going to see some new faces over there, young men. Thank you for your service in protecting our great county and great cities. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, listen, I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. So stay tuned. Say it again, say it again You're saying you're sorry, so say it again Only you can make my world go black Say you love me, then you take it back Say it again, say it again Uh, You want my forgiveness, so say it again you're my thunder of my darkest night You just can't go back and make it right Cause it's too late
to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the, de- the Daily Horoscope. brought to you by Note of the Astrology. Lord, I'm just, I sound like a machine. Welcome back. You're listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you the daily rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. That's when I'm multitasking. My mind is thinking one thing, my mouth is saying another thing, and I'm looking at something totally different. Too much going on. Too much going on. Anyway, help us welcome the cream to the neighborhood. So Duluth, the city of Duluth, has a new company. It's called The Cream. It's a new concept by restaurant veterans Christian and Shannon Lee. So they offer, what they offer includes desserts, coffee, pasta, and quick bites. Strawberry Nutella Crawfle was a chef kiss so good, somebody said. So what's a crawfle? Nutella, strawberry Nutella Crawfle. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, they're over in Duluth. It's called The Cream. Go check them out. They're located at 3455 um, Highway, uh, Duluth Highway. That's 3455 Duluth Highway Suite 1B in Duluth. So they're, they're open seven days a week um, from 8 to 9 p.m., 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sunday through Thursdays. And then on Saturdays, Fridays and Saturdays, they open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Pretty nice hours. It looks pretty cute in there, too. It's, like, kind of big. I'm going to have to go check it out because the space is big. It's called the cream. Um, but the space look, you know, we're always looking for places to network and this look like it's got some really good space in there. My my brother and I was talking like that looks really good. Okay, so this crumple thing looks God, that looks so sweet. Like I look like I would just like it looks like it looks like it's not a waffle. It's called a cruffle. A cruffle. It has like Nutella on it. It has look like whipped cream and then on top of the whipped cream is strawberries it looks really good but it looks like and then they got it with a some kind of drink i like their cups i like the logo i like the branding but now i'm gonna say this now the branding almost look a little bit like pepsi i ain't gonna even front it's red white and blue it's cute though it's cute branding check them out though i think i think you might like it what is it black okay red white and black yeah it's called the cream whatever that drink is that i just saw it, it looks like sugary it has a it has a um a marshmallow that has been kind of seared on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Check them out. You may like it over there. It's called the cream. I like um I like certain kind of like if I'm drinking something like um like I will try different like I like sweet tea, right? Like I drink pretty much nothing but sweet tea, which is probably really bad for me. However, and, and tea in general, like I drink tea every day. Tea and water. It's pretty much, pretty much all I drink. However, I had a Korean drink. It was some kind of tea. It was orange and it had some milk, some kind of milk in it. It was delicious. Like, as I think about this place, I think about that. It was delicious. Anyway, check the cream out. It's over in Duluth, 33455 Duluth Highway, Suite B, and that's in Duluth, Georgia. Welcome. Stop by, say welcome to the neighborhood. I'm going to stop by and welcome men to the neighborhood because I think that's pretty cool. Um... The city of Lilburn and Peachtree Corners received over $500,000 from the Department of Transportation. It was a grant. Um, There is called the Safe Streets and Roads for All Grants. And um, it's going to fund safety actions aimed at reducing fatalities. We need that. Anything that's going to save a life, I'm all for it. Um, Anyway, uh, Representative Lucy McBath announced that the cities of Peachtree Corners and Lilburn are the recipient of two Safe Street Road Grants. Um, for all the SS4A grant award. So Peace Street Corners is going to get $309,600 to develop a comprehensive safety plan and to pilot traffic cameras and sensors at targeted intersections where there are high volume of traffic and pedestrians. Here's the thing. We need that because the traffic is getting, is getting worse because it's Gwinnett is populated and they're still building, and so the more the more construction and new homes we got and businesses, the more the traffic is going to, you know, increase. So we need anything that's going to keep us safe and keep traffic moving and keep pedestrians safe. We need that. Peachtree Corners um, is getting three hundred nine thousand. Little Burn is going to receive two hundred sixty thousand to develop a citywide comprehensive comprehensive safety plan. Um, conduct a roundabout feasibility study and pilot temporary traffic calming measures such as planters, um, speed bumps and things like speed humps, speed bumps, things like that. Funding for the city of Lilburn was requested by McBath in a letter of support to the transportation secretary, Pete Buttigieg earlier this year. So thank you to, uh, Miss McBath for her work. I got to set up a meeting with her. I got things that I'm trying to make happen. I think she can help me get it done. Um, anyway, uh, Mayor Tim Dunn applauded Miss McBath for her work in helping, you know, getting that funding to improve our, our roads here and to make sure everybody is safe 
as we move about Gwinnett County. So that's pretty darn cool. To read the entire article, it'll be posted in about an hour on the Good Morning Gwinnett show. Web, Good Morning Gwinnett website. So you can go to goodmorninggwinnett.com, goodmorninggwinnett.com to uh, check out the um, check the full article out there. Listen, I don't know what you guys are doing tonight, but the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce is hosting this ugly sweater tonight. Yes, and I have an ugly sweater, y'all. That sweater is ugly. We're going to be at Sam's on Main at the rail yard over in Grayson. Right inside of the what St. Lucas is and building one across the street from the Walgreens, that's where we will be this evening, 6 p.m. It's free, open to all. Come out, bring your husbands, everybody, bring your kids, bring the ugly sweaters. The ugly, the ugliest sweater is going to win a prize, so you want to come out. I have an ugly sweater. That sweater is ugly to me. My daughter bought it. I was like, yeah, that's an ugly sweater. Uh, and I've never done that, but this is going to be our annual event. I love it. I feel like it's. I'm, I'm already loving it. People RSVP, which is interesting, right? I was like, what? People RSVP for the ugly sweater? Anyway, come out this evening. If you're not doing anything, we're going to be at Sam's on Main this evening at 6 p.m. We're gonna. It's the Ugly Sweater Networking Mixer. Um, you can get your drinks at the bar. You can get your food, whatever you want to do, but it's a free event. It's our holiday mixer. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So come out and join us. Um, Sam's on Main, and we're in, that's inside of the rail yard where you see the building on Grayson Highway that says St. Lucas and the dental building. If you turn the corner and come out on the inside, Sam's is on the inside. If you see the Walgreens on your right-hand side coming towards Grayson, it's on the left-hand side. If you're coming from Snellville, it's on your right-hand side inside of that parking, um, inside of that little, that little alleyway kind of thing. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This, this is going to be our annual Christmas event. Yeah, the ugly sweater. I already, I already put it on my 2024 calendar. This is going to be our annual holiday mixer. It's called the Ugly Sweater Mixer and Contest. I'm super excited about that. I think that's going to be so funny. So if y'all not doing anything, that's this evening at 6 p.m. Come out and hang out with us. Um, bring your business card because, you know, you're still going to do a little business. Bring your business card. You still got a little business going on, all right? All right, cool. All right, I think, um, I I think that's about all I got for y'all today. Wait, wait, wait. Motown. That's what I was going to tell y'all. I, I did have something else to say. Um, uh, Downtown Lawrenceville at the Aurora Theater, they got Motown. I think that's going to be pretty cool, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got uh, Motown Christmas, and they're probably going to be doing, like, um, Christmas song or song from Motown. Yeah, it's called Motown Christmas, and it's happening downtown at the Aurora Theater, the Metro Waterproofing Main Stage. It's $25 for the tickets. For more information, check out the, the uh, website. You can go to the Aurora Theater's website. So that's auroratheater.com forward slash holiday happening. So the Aurora Theater is located at 128 East Pike Street, downtown Lawrenceville. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So that's tomorrow, 21st through the 23rd. If you're looking for something to do, this could be a good opportunity for you to get out and do a Motown Christmas. I think that's pretty cool. 7 o'clock tomorrow. Yes. Normally I'm bowling on on um. Normally I'm bowling on, on that day, but tomorrow I won't be bowling because we're on break. All right, now I think that's all I got for you. I'm going to go to my song, my last song, and then I'm going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense so I
started building trust and my fragile heart started to mend. Yeah. I should have paid attention. You would have been the obvious choice. But I needed time to see clearly, dig deep and cut through the give you my words of inspiration and this is one i haven't seen before y'all know i've I've read over a thousand inspirational quotes on this show yes over a thousand that's a lot but i have never seen this one i thought that is a good one so here goes don't spend time beating on a wall hoping to transform it into a door what let me say it again don't spend time beating on a wall hoping to transform it into a door Coco Chanel said that, and oh my goodness, I love it. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you can beat, 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 and the wall is not going to become a door. Now, what you could do is tear the wall down and build a door. But thinking that you're beating on the door and it's going to change, beating on the wall is going to change into the door, not going to happen. So you're wasting so much time beating the door when all you, beating the wall, when all you need to do is create a new door. Listen, stop beating on the wall, trying to transform it into a door. Either walk away from that wall and go build you a new door or tear the wall completely down and start from scratch and build a door. Sometimes you have to do that. Some people don't like starting over. They don't want to start from scratch. They don't want, they, they, they keep beating that wall. It's going to fall one day. And it's it, even when it falls, it won't become a door. It will become an opening, but it won't become a door. Stop. Listen, you are fooling yourself. If you think it will, you can beat the wall till it falls down. Guess what happens? It is a falling wall with an open hole. It's not a door. It is not. It is an open way, not a door. So listen, stop beating the fall. Stop beating the wall. You know, tear the wall down, build a door, or just go around and build a door all a new door altogether. That's what I got to say for you to say to you for today. Stop it. You're doing too much with that same wall. Go build you a door somewhere else. I know change is hard sometimes. Yes, it makes you look like a failure, and it's okay to fail. Failure is not final. It is not. It's an experience that you must take into the future so you can know what not to do from the past. That's all it is. That is it. That is it. All right, listen, that's all I got for y'all today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 45 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. If you miss any episodes of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes and connect with me on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. At Good Morning Gwinnett. That's how I can be found. You can find me right there. That's where I am. Also, be sure to subscribe to the show and do me a favor. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, go to youtube.com forward slash at Good Morning Gwinnett and subscribe to the show. All right? All right. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. You guys stay safe out there. Finish up your holiday shopping. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Until next time, my friends. Until next time. Make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.